If you are at the bleeding edge of classic gaming, then you've heard of Mister, the open source FPGA based emulation platform based on the fundamental goal of hardware accuracy. Mister already has tons of cores spanning 8 to 32 bit consoles, home computers, arcade games, and more. In this series, I'll feature one FPGA core every day for the next 21 days to ring in the new year. And the next core in my New Year's countdown is the TurboGrafx 16. PC Engine, and Super Graphics Core. Originally made by Gregory Estrade, legendary FPGA coder who goes by Torless, this was brought into Mr. primarily by Sorgelig, Alexei Melkinov, the person behind Mr., with major contributions by Grey Rogue, some by Kintrix, and A. Kramer. The PC Engine is near and dear to my heart. It's the platform that I own the most hardware for, I bought it back when you could get these things cheap straight from Japan. I bought it all broken pretty much, repaired them one by one. But in today's market, I simply couldn't afford this stuff. Prices have skyrocketed for hardware and games, and good luck finding a working super graphics without taking a new mortgage out on your house. This is pure Japanese gaming hardware at its best. And Torless did an excellent job transcribing the hardware into FPGA terms for the MIST project. This core supports super graphics, save modes, BRAM, you can switch between DDR3 and SDRAM, 6 to 8 button joystick support, turbo tap for multiple joysticks, support for Street Fighter 2 and Populous Mappers, and the option of 64 sprites per line, which reduces flickering in a lot of games. But use it with caution. One of the coolest features of this core is the fact that it doesn't require any memory, so you can run this on a pure DE10 Nano Mister installation with no add-ons or hardware of any kind. But if you do have the SDRAM card, make sure to switch over from DDR3 to SDRAM in the menu to get a little better performance. This core already replaces a TurboGrafx-16, PC Engine, and all core graphics, the Super Graphics, but not quite the Super CD-ROM 2. But until we get a portable mister of some kind, it doesn't quite replace your Turbo Express, or Expresses in my case. You'll get no jail bars out of the RGB output from your mister, and it looks glorious on a PVM, which is my preferred way to play. I connect through the I.O. board out to a Sony PVM 2030, and the picture is simply stunning. But if you play via HDMI, you have the benefit of using Mister's extremely fast internal scaler with less than one frame of lag. And there you can apply any number of filters by Sultan G42 to get a pure RGB picture or to add scan lines or other effects. If you're going to use scan lines though, make sure to enable one-to-one -one integer scaling in your INI file. So for just the price of a DE10 Nano, you can play the Super Graphics. And that brought a lot of people over when the support was announced, because having a Super Graphics is no small feat. It's a little powerhouse, even though it doesn't have a lot of games. The handful of games that it does have are kind of showcases of the PC Engine hardware. This was planned to be the next iteration of the PC Engine itself. It just never got the game support that it deserved. As a piece of hardware though, it's simply stunning. Here I'm showing R-Type, converted to Super Graphics by Chris Covell, this is an unfinished ROM, but it brings the SuperGrafx's powerful hardware capabilities to the original PC Engine and TurboGrafx-16 game, and the results are incredible. There's no flickering at all, everything runs at a smooth 60 frames per second, and the sprites look glorious. It's one of the best looking R-types, and now Chris Covell's mod makes it even better bringing it to the SuperGrafx platform. And the Super Graphics, of course, has one of the most well-respected home ports of Daimakimura, Ghouls and Ghosts, which is a very arcadey feeling home port. I really like Aldine's for the Super Graphics. Both the graphics and the music really make it a nice game. Although the difficulty is high and it does become slightly repetitive at some point, this colorful shooter is worth checking out at least.
Darius Plus is, as you guessed it, Darius on the Super Graphics. And this is a game that you can play on the PC Engine as well, but it plays with a smoother frame rate on the Super Graphics. You can also play Darius Alpha, which was a game that was only available by a mail-in, and it's basically a boss battle mode of Darius. But I think the PC Engine and TurboGrafx side of the story is where most people are going to be hanging out, because there you have one of the greatest libraries in all of gaming, and it's relatively unexplored by Westerners. The PC Engine was massive in Japan, but in the US, we just didn't really catch on. We did get Air Zonk, though, one of the best shooters on the platform. It's colorful, has a bonk theme, and he's gone full punkic cyborg. A great game that should be at the top of your list if you're just jumping into the PC Engine. The PC Engine also got an excellent Bomberman game. The entire 2D Bomberman series is very arcadey, and this is just a nice, colorful little Bomberman for your PC Engine. And the PC Engine is a shoot 'em up fan's dream. Even if you're not big into shoot 'em ups, they're worth checking out, and who knows, you might pick up a knack for them. They're the kind of game where you can be up and running in two seconds and you get thrown straight into the action. Image Fight is a great example of the PC Engine style shoot 'em up. It's colorful, fast paced, and lots of fun. Cyber Core is one of my personal favorites. I love this style of shoot 'em up. Insect invasion, fantasy themed, with moths, praying mantis, water bugs, it's all here. And in that same spirit, Dragon Spirit is another colorful dragon fantasy themed shoot 'em up that plays essentially the same as Cyber Core. Its lesser-known sequel, Dragon Saber, is more of the same, but that's a good thing in my book, as Dragon Spirit is one of my favorite games of all time. I'd kill for an arcade core of Dragon Spirit. Fans of Galaga will love the home port of Galaga 88. It's everything Galaga was and more, with the incredible PC Engine color palette and that beautiful chiptune sound that only the PC Engine can deliver. Blazing Lasers is an incredible shoot 'em up that's fast paced and it's all about the power ups. And in that same vein, Soldier Blade is another action-packed shoot 'em up that throws you right in. It's a great pick up and go type game. I used to play this a lot on my Turbo Express. The PC Engine is full of incredible platformers like Ninja Spirit, a fast-paced ninja guiding kind of game that really takes advantage of the PC Engine hardware and looks incredible. Magical Chase is a sort of cotton-esque shoot 'em up whose cuteness is only matched by its price on the used market.
and you can't talk about the TurboGrafx-16 or PC Engine without mentioning Bonk. And if you're going to jump into the Bonk's games, which aren't my favorite, you could do worse than starting with Bonk's Revenge. And that's going to wrap up my PC Engine core feature. Who knows, maybe one day we'll be back talking about adding the arcade card and CD capabilities to this core to turn it into the complete Super Graphics face-hugging CD setup of your nightmares. So what core am I going to feature next? Find out tomorrow when I continue the New Year's Mr. Core Countdown. This video represents a snapshot of the core as it exists today, but by the time you're watching this in the future, it may have been improved or expanded with new features. Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the latest Mr. Happenings, and ring the bell to be notified when I go live for a stream. If you like the channel, consider supporting it. Patreon support at any level gets you an instant invite to the Smoke Monster Elite Discord and early access to my videos. Thank you so much for your support, I really appreciate it.